Oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, hey Taylor, you downloaded me and only opened me once. I feel a little used. Look, it's really not you, it's me. I'm just too busy for this. But I can change. I have a whole community around asking for new features. Well, that's very impressive and you should feel really special. Look, I just don't have time for you. You're pretty needy and you take a lot of effort to use. It really distracts me from my production schedule and the little time I have with my family. Oh, hold on a second, someone's messaging me. You're wrong. I'm the best thing since AOL Messenger. I'm going to prove it to you. Well, I hope that's true. I'm really rooting for you. I just can't spend any more time on you. Oh, hold on a second. Someone's messaging me about you. Bro, 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 bro. Have you checked out Nyan yet? It is the free Tonex killer, bro. Bro, you gotta check it out, bro. But they need your validation. I'm sorry, they're not gonna get it. Not until you make some big improvements that make you easier to use. Maybe you should charge or ask for donations so you can pay people too. Again? Jesus. How dare you? I'm free for the people. Look, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just saying maybe if you had some money, you could afford some developers too. Steve is the only developer I need. How dare you question his greatness? This has nothing to do with Steve. He actually seems like a pretty okay guy. Just usually people want money for the work they do so they can pay their rent and eat. That's the only reason you YouTubers make reviews is for money. You're a hack and a shill. You're going to die, bitch. Nerd. Look, I didn't invent capitalism. I'm just trying to feed my kids and what are we even doing here? We're getting off topic. Look, I tried you. It was complicated and I'm just done. I don't have time for it. Maybe we could try again when you get a 2.0 update or something. You'll regret this. I'm the best thing to exist ever. Nothing comes close. How will you make music without me? Oh, jeez. Finally, we can be alone together and... What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I just wanted to make this brief video since I've been getting flooded with comments, DMs, text messages, and smoke signals about Nam. A lot of people are very hyped on this and I feel like I'm the only one that isn't, but before you get angry at me, hear me out. Nam stands for Neural Amp Modeler, not to be confused with Neural DSP, another company that makes amp models using AI and neural networking. You know what, just don't worry about that part of it. It was started by a guy named Steve Atkinson who has undoubtedly blocked me on Facebook at this point. Now before I get too far into it, I just wanna be really clear that I think this project is really cool and I think that it's awesome that there is such a big and active community around it. That's all really great, it's just not something that I have time to participate in. And let me tell you a little bit about NAM and why that is. NAM is an open source plugin, meaning you can download and modify the code for it. It is a community driven project and therefore is free to use. This seems to be the main reason people like it, and who can blame them? Who doesn't like free stuff? I made this whole long video about Nam, and watching it back I just felt like I was taking jabs at it, which wasn't really my intention. So I wanted to make this video to explain why I don't use it, and why I really can't use it. Here's a little excerpt from the first video that I made about my experience using Nam. For example, with Nam, you have to download it from GitHub, which is not secure. And maybe that doesn't bother you, but I just want to be transparent for the type of people that might be adverse to that sort of thing. So once you get it downloaded and install it and run it, despite your computer pleading with you to not use non-validated software, I mean, that's probably just a scam to get you to buy antivirus software anyways, right? Oh shit, you get this. So what do I do here? There's no models to choose from. Oh, okay, I load one. Wait a second. Well, where do I get the model from? There is a private Facebook cult, I mean group, you need to join where users upload their own models and share them. But where do you find them? Oh, here's a pin thread with them. Okay, uh, not what I'm looking, wait, wait a second. Most of these are modeled after the Axe FX3, another amp modeler. Surely there's gotta be something else in here. Oh, here we go, this one looks cool. Wait a second, I have to download this from a random person's Google Drive? <sighs> My computer's firewall is gonna be working overtime today. All right, now that's downloaded, let's load it up and uh, wait a second. I need an IR too? Well, luckily I have one and you can have it for free too. And by free, I mean if you join my Discord. Okay, let's rip it. Wait, why does it sound like that? Let me open the settings. Uh, where are the settings? Oh, they're up there in the actual menu. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I don't know why that's the last place I would look. Okay, let me change these settings and... Nope. Hmm. What's going on here? Oh, I'm clipping. That's weird. I'm clipping by default. Let me just turn the volume way down. Oh, 
Okay, now why do I have latency again? Yes, you can use my microphone for the 16th billion time. Oh, what the hell, how did that happen? Let's change these back. Okay, that should be it. Now we're ripping. Using NAM really reminds me a lot of the early days of peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. If any of you are old like me and remember what that was like, initially you had to be a bit tech savvy to actually use the peer-to-peer -peer services to share Metallica albums. And I would have to bug my friend who knew how to use computers to look for the newest new metal releases because they didn't have them at my local Sam Goody. I'm really dating myself here. So like you can see, there are a lot of hoops that you have to jump through to use NAM. And if you are tech savvy, which is definitely not me, then maybe none of that seems like a big deal to you. But as someone who struggles with stuff like installing plugins using iLock, this almost made me pull my hair out. My favorite plugins that I use regularly are the ones that give me the straightest line to the goal. And that's not because I don't like to noodle with settings or deep dive into things I do, but it's just because when I'm using a plugin, I'm generally trying to get something done. And that's nothing against NAM, that's just me and the way I operate. If you really like that sort of stuff, then more power to you. I'm sure Steve really appreciates you test running the project as well. Actually, Steve is really cool and he was kind enough to answer some questions for me when I started making that first video. And most of what he told me was that this is a passion project for the community and he doesn't want any compensation even though I think you should give it to him. Steve would just like people to participate in the community and help him debug the software. He actually asked me to remove any mentions of donations, which I think would help move the project along, but that's how strongly he feels about not receiving any financial compensation for this project. Now upon further orb pondering, I decided to give it another shot. I watched Leon Todd's NAM video in which he had a link for the model that was made using one of his amps, and I figured to be sure I should probably try Leon's NAM model since I can reasonably trust that it would sound good and not be clipping to all hell on initial load up, and so I did. Hey guys, I'm here at my computer. I saw Leon Todd's video and thought I would give NAM a second try just to be fair because my first experience didn't go that great. Uh, there were quite a few bugs. I kept getting asked to use my microphone and also my audio settings kept resetting and uh, just the neural amp model I guess that I downloaded was kind of weird like it was clipping really bad when I loaded it up so I figured you know what Leon knows what he's talking about I'll give this another shot why not let's uh let's load it up here okay it's already asking me if it can use my microphone even though I said yes last time uh, let's see if the settings are still the same before I even do anything here okay my settings are the same here uh, I have the same buffer size and all that and I'm using the same audio device so that's good Nothing loaded up here by default. It looks like it just resets to this state when you load it up. LT Mesa, Mark IV, and I need to select an IR also. There are not IRs included. I'm gonna load up an IR that I use all the time. It's uh, my Mesa cab with an X1A microphone. You can snag that in my Discord if you would like that. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> It does sound very, very good. Now, with it being a free plugin, this is obvious, but you know, there's not a whole lot to the interface of this plugin here. You have input, gate, bass, middle, treble, output. You turn the EQ off, uh, you turn the gate on and off. Uh, that's pretty much it. So like, if you wanted any effects or like, you know, me, if you're a boost nerd and you want to boost this amplifier, you're kind of out of luck. Now, does it sound better than something like Tone? Here, let's just load up Tonex. Why not? Everyone says that Nam is the Tonex killer, so time to find out. It does load faster than Tonex, but, you know, it has significantly less features <laughs> than Tonex also. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so here's Tonex. Here's the paid software that everyone compares this to. This is one of those huge streamlined features that I really like, is you can just search for models in the actual application itself, instead of uh, having to look through a Facebook group, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. Let's see if we can find any Mark series amplifiers. Now, just like with NAM, with Tonex, with other people's tone models or captures or however you wanna look at it, you are totally reliant on that person and their ability to do this. So, you know, that's something that like, there you just don't have any control over here. Okay, here's an actual IK multimedia model of a Mesa Mark IV amp. Uh, I dialed it in a bit here, it was like kind of a little bit low gain by comparison, but um... Let's 
Let's go back to Nam for a second. Leon Todd Nam model. <laughs> Okay, so it's a little bit hard to tell with the load up times and having to switch the settings between each one of the programs when I loaded them up. I would say that they're pretty close sound wise though, if that's your argument, is that one sounds better than the other. I think that's a personal preference thing. I don't think one is very obviously dramatically better than the other one. Uh, Nam did sound better to me at first when I loaded up Tonex, but then kind of like once I leveled it out a little bit uh, volume wise, I, I didn't really notice that big of a difference to be honest with you. So, you know, take that for what it is. Okay, like you can see, it was a much better experience and I was really impressed with the sound, but does that make me hyped on NAM and does that change my opinion? Well, no, not really. The NAM model did sound excellent and I was really impressed by it, but we are still looking at a project that is in beta and with how hard it was for me to just figure out installing it and finding amp models to load up, I don't even wanna dive into the actual training process for me to make models of my own amplifiers. To me, this is about convenience and I'm at a point in my life where my time is more valuable to me than paying $150 for a plugin. And that's totally not to dig on anyone who isn't in that position. And if you enjoy something because it's free, more power to you. I just hope that if you are enjoying this free plugin, you are participating in the community and helping debug it so it can move along and improve. I'm really excited to see where NAM will be in a year because it seems to be moving along much faster as more and more people get involved. And that leads me to why I believe people are so adamant this is the best plugin like this. Because it's free. To me, it's a weird thing to say because it's obviously free. I don't think that you could charge money for NAM in its current state. It's too buggy, relies primarily on the community for its content, and just isn't streamlined in the same way a program you would pay for is. Also, there's a weird thing that I want to mention here, which is the main reason I actually couldn't use NAM, even if I wanted to. When I briefly had NAM installed on my computer, it stopped Final Cut from being able to render video, which is the majority of what I use my computer for. Now, this is an anecdote, and I have no way to know for sure if it was NAM causing the issue or not, but when it was installed, it didn't work, and when I uninstalled it, Final Cut Pro finished exporting my video. So just take that with a grain of salt. I also think that saying is something better just because it's free is really disingenuous, and it really undermines all the hard work that Steve and the community have put into this project. Look, there's a lot of reasons you might choose to use one thing over another, and at the end of the day, while this is free to use, it really thrives heavily on community involvement. And if you're using it and not participating in the community so it can prove, then I think you're kind of doing it a disservice. So ultimately, if NAM is something that you enjoy, I'm really happy for you. I'm really glad that there's a way for people to experiment with this technology without having to pay for it. That is a wonderful thing. But if you are someone like me who absolutely does not have the time or patience, I would prefer just paying the $150 for Tonex so that I can move on with my day. Now a criticism that I'm sure I will receive from this video is, but Taylor, you didn't have to pay for Tonex. How can you say that you'd pay for that convenience? That is true and that is a totally valid point. I received the Tonex software when it was still in beta as a content creator and it's one of the perks of the job. But let me tell you about a piece of software that I did pay for, Reaper. While most people abuse the still evaluating loophole to receive free Reaper for life, I'm one of the dozen or so that actually chose to pay for it. And I really only did it so I wouldn't have to see that annoying text dialog box every time I started the app. I'm totally aware that that's just me and that's who I am and I like to take the hassle out of my life whenever possible, so I'm pretty sure you can see why I wouldn't vibe with something like Nam. And I know some of you might be disappointed by this video. Maybe you wanted me to deep dive on Nam, or maybe you wanted me to uh, make Nam models with my own amplifiers. And for that, I'm sincerely sorry. Hopefully you can understand where I'm coming from. I'm not closing the door on this for the future. You know, maybe once they streamline it a little bit more and it's a little bit easier for numbskulls like me to use, then I'll give it another shot. But I do want to say thank you so much to Steve and the Nam community for everything they are doing. Thanks to those of you who spam me with messages about Nam. I sincerely appreciate that. And last but not least, thank you to my patrons and members for helping me make these videos. I couldn't do it without you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.